I'm a digital problem solver. <laughs> Famous, and I'm your photog. <laughs> I know. Whoa, what is this fancy thing? This is fancy. So where are we right now? Um, I think we're in Bozeman. I know we're in Montana, but I think we're in Bozeman. Doesn't it feel like a ski watch? It does. Are you a skier? I've only done it a few times, but obviously I crushed it. So yeah, to answer your question, yeah, I am. <laughs> Look at all the wood. I feel that we're getting some really cool shots. Yeah, you got dinosaurs in here. There's, there's. I am too. I am too. Dinosaurs. It's been a good at, trip. The baggage claim is so cool. It's like, uh, your bags will be here um, at the only baggage claim here. So <laughs> right out front. First thoughts on Montana Airport. Fierce. <laughs> That's the first time. No sleeves, no arm in the sleeves, killing the game. Right off the plane, seriously? No. What about the shoe? I mean, it'd be like that sometimes. Well, like, you know, in like the old school, like wilderness movies, people are on the edge of the wilderness looking for gold. That's what it feels like Bozeman is initially. Just the different vibes. You got the Indiana Jones looking people here. You got people rocking fur coats with their sleeves. It's just all sorts of like interesting characters coming together. That's why. It was a fur cape. Almost. <laughs> it was. Cape. It was a cape. So here's what I learned about Montana since I've been here. <laughs> the person who's from here sat behind me, and she said that Montana is just like Texas, just prettier. That's what she said. In what ways? I don't know, that's all I heard. Before, then I had to go back to, you know, saving the world from Bowser. <laughs> I mean, somebody has to do it. Stars, throwing Bowser around, hitting the little bombs, it's crushing it. Mario Kart? Mm -mm. Mario 64. What are we doing tomorrow? Uh, we are going to a company, a secret. Um, we're going to provide value. We're going to do some consulting, business work. They got some questions. We have answers. Um, we're ex I'm excited about it. Brandon is going to hit up some, uh, you know, mad Facebook guru esque dived in. That's not a word. Deep dive. <laughs> yeah, you can edit that all out. Edit. Nope. So, we need all that in there. No, it's so, but that's it. That's what we're gonna do. Crush it. Why value over everything? Well, because at the end of the day, that's all that really matters is value at the end of the day. Because if you get in your feelings, you can be happy, you can be sad, you can be whatever. Your mood changes things. Your perception changes based upon how you feel. But at the end of the day, value never changes. That's why it's value over everything. Hey, ma'am. I got a series. It's going to be called Value and Fly Fishing. Good evening for all those of you who are very interested in this evening. Trust me, in here. Hotel school. It's like a modern look. Modern ski lodge. That's what it looks like. Yeah. 
1960s retro. They got too much uh, moisture in this wood. That's why it's popping so much. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then what's what are some of your goals this week? Uh, we're going to learn about the customer. Uh, we're going to do a digital audit. We're going to um, look at um, kind of see where spending could could shift to uh, reach more people. And then we're going to create digital stories uh, and solve digital problems. I'm a digital problem solver. And the fur coat. Oh, and I gotta buy a fur coat. Because yeah, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This place is awesome. Bye. 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 <laughs> Shut your windows. <laughs> Oh <sighs>